Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. Today, a Marauders Money Guides video. So, we're gonna start straight with there's two maps in the game, both while there's technically three one with the big spaceship, one with the big rock, the big asteroid that you can loot in, and then one with nothing. So, we're gonna be looking for the ones with the space stations. So, yeah. For gear whatsoever, you don't have to bring anything. You can find plenty of stuff in the ship you start in. I'm not sure if you spawn with stuff in your ship when it's not a backup ship, but if you have a backup ship, you start with stuff. Uh, I'll show you where that is when we hop in as well. If you bring gear, make sure to uh, bring enough healing. There's no reason to bring gear if you don't bring healing. You might as well go naked. Just so make enough healing. It's not expensive to make healing. Uh, especially not with... Uh, if you just buy these. 900 bucks. They wear... Yeah. So you buy one. You scrap them. I get two synthetic. Uh, could could also be one fabric and one synthetic. But it always drops two things. So it's really worth for your price. Especially after uh, getting money easily in the way. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we just spawned in. As you can see, uh, you can spawn there, spawn there, but there will be gear on this. Oh, what is this? Box? Whatever it is. So, it can be a pistol. Sometimes there can be a weapon either, uh, but usually there's a weapon. Sometimes ammo with the weapon. Uh, a rig. The rig can also spawn there or there, or either it gets flown over from there to there. But that's not too important. Uh, yeah, so what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna head for the maze, uh, main space station all the rest is not important uh, quests are also very good money but I don't really suggest you like you can do quest but just wasting all your time on focusing on the quest is not worth it in my opinion because you can get 50k a fault in this game uh, so I will just be showing you where that fault is how to be getting in and what to loot because a lot of people don't know what to loot they pick up garbage loot and that's really not necessary so yeah I'll see you when we're inside okay so we docked the ship we got shot in the meanwhile but that's no problem we get down to our airlock and get out now, this is barely a money guide farm I'm not gonna teach you how to play the game but I am gonna give you some tips on the go uh, just from a fellow gamer to another fellow gamer because a lot of people don't even know how to get into fault even though people make guides on that I think I'm not sure so from here it will just be gameplay I probably cut some part that parts out but you need to know where the fault is right okay you're gonna want to be ignoring all the other stuff you find I spawned real in a really good spawn now because you're gonna be looking for these stairs uh, those stairs actually, but if you see these stairs, you know those stairs are also around So you're gonna be coming to these stairs in the back over here um, These boxes are also worth looting. This is especially why a blowtorch. That's what you need I didn't have one in my stash and now I do uh, So those the toolboxes are worth looting for the blowtorches and for other stuff as well, but Again, a lot of people like the garbage, and these are really worth looting. You can you can call them 450k a pop. Um, uh, you can loot AI. I don't suggest you doing it, especially uh, uh, except if you don't have armor or stuff like that. Uh, gears and things are always worth looting because they're only one slot, and you can craft from a full stack. You can craft 8k worth of stuff. Uh, ah, whatever. Okay. So, if you follow the stairs into this room, you come here, and you go around over here. And then you're in the cafe. Uh, the bar, I mean. The bar is what you're going to be looking for always. Because in the bar... Our AI, that's definitely for sure. But you can find stuff like healing here and the fault is here. So uh, don't forget this room. It has a big 
a plus on it. And you can get a crap ton of healing. And healing is the most important thing in this game. You can go naked and survive, but just bring enough healing. Uh, sometimes you get shot without even knowing. Oh, Jesus, that fucking scared me. Okay. And this way, bring healing. Morphine, use that, and you'll be back to good health. You come in this room, boom, jewelry box. That's like 10k average. Uh, loot these thingies. Uh, ammo, oh, whatever, we'll top it up. Um, yeah. Transmitter, don't really care about that, but you can just loot it. Uh, this thing, really good. Why? Take six slots, you put your loot in it. Um, you can put our, this healing in there. And take it off. Save slots, easy, like that. And pick back up your armor. Uh, there can be gold coins. Well, all type of coins spawns on these desks as well. Uh, and then you go down. Uh, let me see on this box. Uh, typically, you would like to loot this box as well for a blowtorch. Uh, there might not be one in now, but you know, toolboxes and those boxes. If you don't have one, if you have a blowtorch, you come here. I got lucky with mine. I found it on the way. Otherwise, I'd have to get that uh, in the other way. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we eat this and make space. Again, healing, really important, but it's always worth dropping if you need the space, especially food, because food is really cheap. Um, then you'll be coming here, another jewelry box, boom, easy. Not sure how this works, but it's whatever. Uh, what we're gonna be doing first though, is we're gonna drop this weapon, take the blowtorch, and open this. Because the blowtorch you will be dropping after. You don't have to, especially if you're not uh, playing in a group. But I am dropping this, definitely. So I can pick up my gun, pick the bar, the best gun in the game in my opinion. You loot here. Boom, 18k. Oh, I'll just do that. Boom, this is around 30k, so easily. Um, then we can use the chocolate, bring that. Don't really care about these, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Um, Okay, another jewelry box. Boom. You come in the vault. I hear someone over there, but I'm just gonna ignore him. Close this door. Most important box in this room is this one. The reason why for is boom. This thing alone can spawn jewelry boxes and stuff like that. All the valuable stuff. All the valuable stuff can spawn in here. So we're just gonna drop the morphine, take that. There is no shift clicking in this game, by the way, otherwise I would have done it already, but yeah. And check the big boxes over here. Supply drop, boom. Sadly, I can't take this. It is worth taking though. Maybe I can make space for it. Let's see. If we drop this, 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 this. I dropped my armor. The reason why for now is I really do need the space. Um, and armor is not that important in this game. Another one, boom. But we can bring it. BPSH, uh, not important. You want to take money here. All that matters for money, to make money, is go for money items. Look, even that, you take if you have the slot for it. Uh, garbage. Just loot all the boxes. Boom. Um, so I'm not sure if this works uh, for the whole head. Like a kill a mask or something on Tarkov, but I'm not gonna test it out. I'll just be happy with my level 10 helmet. Uh, these lockers are the most important one. Um, the reason for is there can be really big backpacks in here, like the uh, barrel backpack. So that's this room. Um, not too good, only one of these thingies, but we got a supply drop as well. Uh, if we had more space, we would have had way more money, but it's still good. Now we get out. just gonna be ignoring those shots and then next raid we would hope for another blowtorch you could technically find three blowtorches in one go and um, 
stack them up in your stash and then you could do three runs, which it would be more money efficient than looking for one every raid. Uh, but yeah, it's whatever really. You just have to be lucky with finding one. Well, not lucky, but just not unlucky. Uh, try to remember how you walked here. Uh, this locker, I did check that before, yeah. Okay. And then you go out. Easy as that. I can tell you. We'll see in the end though, but this is a lot of money. And this is the average. Nah, this is a little more than average. Uh, I'm not I think this will gonna give me around 120k. Depends on the luck on these boxes. Um, average run is around 70k, but if you continue looting after you're gonna have a good amount of money. So what you will be doing, if you got shot before, you enter the space station. Just repair it real quick, simple and easy. A really good tip for everyone as well. Make sure to take these out and place them over there because they will remain there uh, until after the raid. But if you, especially if you're playing with two. No, also, if you're playing alone, you don't have to run back to get them to go to the engine. Now we will be doing. Okay, is actually I'm gonna leave the ship because the ship is really slow, and we're gonna go take an escape pod to keep uh, save some time because it's way faster to go with the escape pod. And this is really one of my best tips if you're in a bad ship, just try to take an escape pod. You can also use them from inside of the station, which will make which would make it even faster. But this time I'm already loaded up with loot, I'm not gonna risk fighting people. And then you're out, boom like that. And we didn't have to kill too many people, we didn't have to uh, worry too much, we killed four raiders and a player. Again, that, that first guy apparently was a player, okay, I don't know where his captain card was. So we did the quest as well, so we did some more. Um, contracts collect okay so we're on 63 I'm gonna open this okay this is pretty nice this item alone is really good for money uh, of course and then this what we're gonna do is sell 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 everything all of it uh, keep these we want to use that for new crafts, of course. Uh, keep that in. Unlock, boom, one gold coin. We already made so much. The silver coins are also good, of course. The copper coins don't really matter. Another gold coin. Three golden coins. That's so big. You can have bad luck with these as well, but averagely you would get around one gold coin. Average. Sell it, sell it. Sell it all. And then the, the bar you could sell. I'm keeping it because it's a really good weapon, in my opinion. So we're gonna be storing that. Uh, but uh, in those faults, typically you would also find a really big gun. I highly suggest you bringing those out because they sell for like 6k, which is also really good. Uh, this rig, really bad. For level 5 but this space is so good that's why i dropped my level 10 for it i would have not dropped it at level 12 but you get armor easily anyway so and yeah that's the run look how much money we made around 100k a little over 110k and that's on a run that didn't even last 15 minutes uh i didn't time the run but um we went in we took around uh when you start, you have a 25 minute oxygen and I didn't get the 10 minute oxygen uh, countdown. So it was less than 50 minutes, definitely. And yeah. Oh, actually we made more. I forgot to sell these. Boom, boom. 150K we end up at. We went up by 140K. That's a lot of money. I didn't realize I still had those. And that's on finding a blowtorch in raid and not even healing of my own use except for some drinks and one bandage 
So that's really nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good run. So that's how you make money in this game. It ain't that hard. On the other map, I haven't made a guide, but it's basically the same thing. I'll happy be happy to make another guide on that one. Uh, depends on if you guys want a video for that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.